Hello guys, today we are going to talk about another complexity metrics in software world called cognitive complexity. This paper by Sonar Source and uh, the author is N. Campbell. Uh, we are going to explore this paper a bit, but I would like to show you directly how you can leverage the cognitive complexity in Visual Studio Code by Sonar Lint extension. This is also a product of uh, Sonar Source. So if you get to the extensions and try Sonar Lint, um, yeah, this Sonar Lint is an IDE extension that helps you to de detect and fix quality issues as you write code in a bunch of programming languages. And we have this problematic main function. So main function here is a bit uh, underlined by Sonarlint. So it suggests that we need to refactor this function to reduce its cognitive complexity from 18 to 15 allowed. And if you click the quick fix and open the description rule, uh, this is quite neat explanation here. That's why I'm going through on this. Uh, the sonar lint rule description. Cognitive complexity of functions should not be too high. So I'm quite convinced on that. And this is a code smell. The code smell is something that indicates clearly you have some bad code portions in your code base. And this is a critical uh, issue in particular situation. That's why we should not take it easy here. And the explanation. Cognitive complexity is a measure of how hard the control flow of a function is to understand. So a keyword here is to understand. The next keyword is functions with high cognitive complexity will be difficult to maintain. So the cognitive complexity, as its name suggests, is all about the understanding and maintaining your code base. So this is a quite different from cyclomatic complexity because cyclomatic complexity, uh, the cyclomatic complexity number indicates and shows how good your function or your code in test. But here the cognitive complexity uh, number or threshold indicates that how good your code in terms of maintainability and how easy to understand your code while reading as a human being. And if we go back to, um, to the paper, let me just zoom in a bit. So it has an abstract. So uh, Cyclomatic complexity was initially formulated as a measurement of the testability and maintainability of the control flow of a module. But it turned out that cyclomatic complexity is good at testability, but it's not uh, relatively good at in maintainability. And this uh, leads the author of the paper to research and give a shot about the cognitive complexity. Now, uh, uh, let's go to another link about the cognitive complexity. This is from the cold climate. Uh, the cold climate, um, so in, in this uh, documentation, uh, the explanation is quite neat. So that's why I'm going through on that. The cognitive complexity is a measure of how difficult a unit of code is in, to intuitively understand. Unlike cyclomatic complexity, which determines how difficult your code will be to test. So the difference is, um, is the difference from cyclomatic complexity with the example code of the PHP. So we have this switch case. It's easy to understand. So I believe the, the cycle, uh, I believe the cognitive complexity of this switch is one. But the cyclomatic complexity will be one, um, one, two, three, four. So we need four test cases to full, fully cover the switch case. 
but it's easy to understand. So this is a big difference between cyclomatic complexity and a cognitive complexity. Uh, now the, you can read the idea, you can uh, read how you can um, actually reformat and refactor your code base to reduce the uh, cognitive complexity. The steps to do refactoring is close to how you are doing with cyclomatic complexity, but with different um, aspects and the different idea on the, uh, on the mind. Uh, I strongly suggest this video, uh, and the video is by the author of the Cognitive Complexity paper that uh, she is doing here really uh, awesome job on explaining how you can use the sonar lint, uh, what kind of uh, refactorings you, you may use to reduce the cognitive complexity. Yes, the examples are all in Java, but I believe that with decent understanding and with uh, uh, great attention, you can grasp it easily because I've used this, this video to understand most of the concepts. And also they are like, um, the explanation is quite understandable here. The left side is a problematic code, uh, and I believe in the right side uh, there is a refactored uh, refactored version of this code. So, yeah, basically this is a cognitive complexity, and it uh, you can use a sonar lint to detect the code, uh, do the refactoring, and each time when you change the code, the sonar lint. Um, extension will rerun and the recheck if you have reduced the cognitive complexity and uh, if you do some refactorings to reduce cyclomatic complexity at the end you have pretty much uh, achieved the, the same result as a reducing cognitive complexity as well and vice versa so that was all about the cognitive complexity and how I'm using it in my project. So I strongly recommend the sonar lint extension. I strongly recommend this uh, video explanation by the paper also. And this is a great resource to start over. So I'm going to put all links in the video description. See you in the next video. Bye.